I rise to support the motion by the women rep of Laikipia uh, on management of the costs of electricity in this country. It is only in Kenya, I think, that we have beaten the law of demand and supply. Anybody would imagine that if there's a high supply and low demand, the price then would be lower. Or if there's high demand and low supply, the price would be up. To trace my steps, uh, by 2017, the country was producing 2,300 megawatts. Currently, we are producing 2,900 megawatts. Consumption of power at, on 20, in 2017, in the evening when Mamamboga was cooking, was 1757. Currently, the consumption has grown to 2243. What does that tell us? It, tell, it tells us that the consumption or absorption of power by ordinary citizens is growing. And if we don't check, we may end up where we have more demand than supply. I think Kenya power needs to wake up. And the government needs to put its foot down to restructure Kenya power so that it meets the needs of the citizenry. For the last four years, Kenya Power has had four different managing directors. That should tell us something. That should tell us that the ministry either was sleeping on the job or there are a lot of politics in the management of Kenya Power. And the last exit at Kenya Power, the chair of Kenya Power, the lady who left, we raised it in our committee. There was a conflict of interest. She was the director general of EADB. But are you yeah. going to be discussing the DG of EADB or do you want to make a contribution? I want to relate an, an, uh, an event in uh, Turkana, wind power, and EADB. I would suggest you don't go along that way because you'll be discussing a member, uh, a, a Kenyan who is a CEO of a regional institution without giving a chance to respond. So I, I would suggest you go a different way. Mr. Speaker, what I was going to mention is that EADB financed the Turkana Power. As a committee, when we went to Turkana Power, they were not ready then. But somebody in the ministry forced their way and 9 billion Kenya shillings was paid for free. So even as we talk about the price of power in this country, we need to look at other players in the market who are actually stealing public money. Until we, we wake up as members of parliament and we say no to theft of public funds, then we can be talking about how to improve on the pricing of Kenya power. Right now, we have the lifeline uh, the lifeline tariff. In the lifeline tariff, the charges is 12 shillings per kilowatt hour. If you look at the 12 shillings per kilowatt hour, which is given, if you look at the composition, the taxes are 56 percent. What does that tell us? It means the citizenry is paying a lot of tax. For example, on that tax, we have a warmer tax. Warmer is charging uh, for the hydro stations, 50 cents per kilowatt hour. EPRA is charging 0.2 cents per kilowatt hour. I think it's important that this motion that the Honorable Bukagiri has brought should help us as a committee in energy to go deep into inquiry on how best we can moderate the taxes so that the citizenry can enjoy supply. But the good news is that the country in the next, hopefully in the next 10 years, should be able to have a nuclear plant in Mombasa. If you have a nuclear plant, we'll be able to produce 4,000 megawatts 
which will then put us in a foothold as an industrial nation. Right now, if you talk about having every household have electricity, it's not going to be possible. It will be a question like what has happened in South Africa, where there was a law that all the citizens be supplied with power. But now, there's rationing, each citizen gets three hours per day of that power. So it's important that even as we do the inquiry, we should be proactive in planning as a country on our needs for the megawatts that we need into the future. But more importantly, the variance between 2247 that is consumed every day and 2900 megawatts that is produced, we should be able to use the existence of that 600 megawatts to power our factories at night and ensure that if we power our factories at night, we can play with the, with the, with the pricing index and reduce the cost of electricity to citizenry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Member Kabuchai, is Member Kabuchai in the house? Member Kandui? Member Kilgoris? Mr. Speaker, I also stand to support this um, <clears throat> motion. Um, Mr. Speaker, I wish to thank the Honorable Member from Laikipia. I can see that good things come from Laikipia. Because this motion now touches actually every citizen. In the years gone by, it was not easy to discuss this issue of electricity in the rural area. But now it is the current uh, discussion. 